something that was given to me or what I read a month and about two months ago. You know, the reason why sometimes we as producers get so confused when it comes to terms like brand and marketing is because we don't have any kind of emotional connection to them. Right. They're just very stale words that can mean something different to, to you than they mean to you. So what the author said was replace the word brand with reputation. And in this age, replace the word content with message. So instead of I got to create more content, I got to create more messages. Well, what is a message? When you say I got to create more content, content could be anything. Content could be Instagram. It could be Twitter. It can be YouTube videos. It can be, you know, a, a meme picture. Replace, con replace content with message and replace brand with reputation because at the end of the day, it's just your reputation. I think the problem initially a lot of producers have when it comes to, and I had the same thing when it comes to your brand is we immediately say brand. I need a logo. I need a color. I need a style of beats. And that's where it ends. And that's just like, that's the very bare basics of that. You know, it's like, imagine making a cake with just the eggs and then the batter. And you're like, I got a pot and a, and an oven. Yeah, we ready. No, we're not ready. That's not a cake fam. So I think with branding, a big issue I had was trying to be everything for everybody because it was like, I didn't want to cut off any possible money flows or any possible connections. But the people that I've seen win over the years are the ones who were like, look, I'm a boom bap producer. This is what I do. I know what age we're in. So I'll make it work in this day and age, but I am who I am. The ones I see that struggle the most are the ones who are like, I really like boom bap, but I know everybody's on trap. So I better go this direction. But then the day that J. Cole comes out with an entire album of boom bap records, now what, what, are, what are your clientele looking for? The thing that was your, your bread and butter. You know, so I'm not saying don't adjust to the times. I'm saying do it in a way where I feel like one of the most masterful people at that is Jay-Z to where he'll find a way to say, I'm not trying to compete with you in your lane, but I'll do a Magna Carta full of nothing but trap beats. But I'll do it in a way where you understand the difference between me and somebody else doing this. So when you're looking at that, don't abandon. That's your brand. That's what you have to stand on. I got a homie named Triz. He's been doing West Coast gangster music since he came into the game and there was a time where they were like, you got to change that up, man. Nobody going to listen to that. Now he has a, he has a loyal fan base who were looking for that the entire time. And now that the, cause you know, music happens in cycles. Once the game swung back, guess who was the, now the pioneer of this new generation of that sound just because he stuck to it. So I think when it comes to branding, a lot of that has to do with your commitment to your reputation.